Michael Horowitz is here with us. He is the Inspector General of the Department of Justice. He's responsible for the oversight of the FBI and the DOJ. Since 2015, he has also served as the Chair of the Council of the Inspectors General on Integrity and Efficiency, an organization comprised of all 73 Federal Inspectors General. This is a very important man, and you know what? He's one of the good guys. Please, come forward. Thank you, Jane, for that very kind introduction, and thank you for having me today. Um, this is a tremendously important event, and I appreciate um, Steve uh, making time available so that I could be here today because I had agreed to uh, speak uh, down the street at uh, a judge's invitation, um, and so I had to figure out how to get here today as well, and so very much appreciate Steve making uh, time in this slot for me to be able to be here because this is so important um, and something that I very much wanted to be here to speak to you about, although I must say, had I known I was going to follow Senator Grassley and you, Jane, I'm not sure I wouldn't have come back even later to speak. Um, and what great presentations um, and discussions. Um, we in the IG community value all that you do um, as whistleblowers to come forward. This is the 40th anniversary of the passage of the IG Act in 1978. We just had an event here in the Capitol that Senator Grassley hosted. As you may know, he has been here since 1978 and has is one of actually four members of Congress who has voted on every single piece of IG Act legislation at the same time he has moved forward um, so many important pieces of legislation in the whistleblower area, and they really go hand in hand. Um, it is so important for us as IGs to have all of you be willing to come forward and report to us on waste, abuse, misconduct, mismanagement, what you see in organizations that you've worked with and worked for, um, whether they are within the agency, with contractors, with grant recipients. Um, I often speak about this with um, the folks in my office. We, we oversee in the Justice Department over 100,000 employees. Um, we have one of the largest IG offices with 475 people 475 people overseeing 100,000 plus people, that doesn't even touch grant recipients and contractors, gives you a sense of responsibility that can be overwhelming at times for us. To do that job most effectively, we need the employees at the Justice Department be willing to come in and speak to us. We need employees of Justice Department contract recipients, grantees, to be willing to come in to speak with us. That's how oversight gets done effectively. That's how waste, fraud, abuse, mismanagement is rooted out. That's how government is made more effective and efficient. And that's really what, as Jane was saying, you all have fought for over the years. And as Senator Grassley mentioned also, you're not in it for the money. You're in it because you want to see justice done. You want to see what's right done. You want to see government work the right way. You want to see government work effectively. You don't want to see people cheating and stealing and lying their way with the taxpayer's money. And that's what it's all about. And that's what IGs work for. And that's why it's so important that we work on these issues and further these issues. And it's one of the things that I've been proud to see in the IG community over the last several years as we've worked forward um, to advance issues of importance on whistleblowers and whistleblowing. We've worked closely with Senator Grassley's staffs. We've worked closely with the House and the Senate whistleblower caucuses. We've worked closely with organizations like the National Whistleblower Center. NGOs throughout the government have heard their voices and your voices speak to us on issues that are important, that issues that we've got to work for, that issues that make sure that the people like you all who perform such a vital and important public service 
coming forward, speaking the truth, speaking about what needs to change, and making sure that you all never get retaliated for doing so. It's often easier said than done, as Jane was talking about. Um, and I know from my career as a prosecutor, when I was in New York City, and I'm familiar with some of the cases that you've referenced, the folks from New York here, um, we did a lot of police corruption work in New York City. And again, at the Justice Department, we oversee law enforcement agencies. And it takes courage for anybody to come forward in any organization but I have to say it takes tremendous courage in a law enforcement organization for people to come forward and speak truth to power and tell what's really going on. And oftentimes it is the only way we learn about what's going on in an organization. It's because of people's willingness to come forward. And so the couple of things I want to mention that we are moving forward on in the IG community and give you a sense of what we're working on. And Rob Storch is here from the NSA, who's now the new NSA Inspector General. I had the good fortune of having Rob as my deputy and start up our whistleblower ombuds program, as so many of you know. He expanded it in the IG community and brought together the entire IG community. He's now working with the new IG for the intelligence community, Michael Atkinson, to develop a similar program in the IG community. We've worked on training. The SIGI Training Academy in the last year has had two training programs for IG, standing room only events. Um, we are um, moving forward with the Senate and the House Whistleblower Caucus on issues of importance. We've worked with them on the recent legislation that has moved forward to make the Ombuds program permanent and to enhance it further. Those are all critical steps forward. But really the most important thing is to work with this community, with whistleblowers for the next 40 years as we continue our effort as IGs to reform government, to make our programs more effective and efficient that we oversee, and to make sure that you all have a safe place to go, to speak truth to power, and to make sure that you're not retaliated against for doing so. So thank you for everything you do on behalf of the entire IG community. This is a great event, an important event. I frankly wish I could stay for the whole event like I did last year. I am going to have to leave early, but in advance, thank you for everything you do.